Welcome to What's Crap on WhatsApp. I'm Paul McNally from Volume. And I am Kate Wilkinson from Africa Check. We're the voice note show that debunks the crap in your WhatsApp groups. This month, we're investigating three viral WhatsApp messages about crime. We have a crazy debunk about kidnapping in mall parking lots, a message about deadly drinks being handed out at robots, and a story about bad guys egging car windscreens. And we're also revisiting a crap message we debunked on the show before. Before we start the debunking, we need you to help us out. We need your friends and family to sign up for the show. So forward this voice note to your WhatsApp groups and ask people to subscribe. They can do this by adding our number. That's 0827093527 to their contact lists and then sending us a message on WhatsApp. Remember, you won't get the show if you don't add us on your phone. You can also download the show as a regular podcast by searching for What's Crap on WhatsApp wherever you get your shows. So, Kate, let's start. A message has been shared that looks like it comes from a police officer called K.R. Nagaraju. Ten different people have contacted us and asked us to investigate this. Hi, I'm Sherilyn. Could you please debunk the claim that people are being kidnapped after smelling perfume from random people at malls? Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. The story goes that criminals are handing people cards to smell in parking lots, saying that they have perfume on them. But the card is actually laced with a drug and the victim passes out. It goes on to say that victims have already been kidnapped in three well-known malls and that seven girls have already gone missing. This sounds elaborate, but should South Africans be scared? No, Paul. It's total crap. The story is not about South Africa. The message originally came from India, and a newspaper there debunked the hoax. What's Crap on WhatsApp also spoke to the Pink Ladies, an independent organization that searches for missing people about the message. Their director and co-founder, Jackie Thomas, said she has seen nothing of this sort reported locally. She also said that a story like this would require a drug test, a case number, and a proper investigation before it could be considered legitimate. So it's crap. It's crap. So what's the next one, Kate? People have been asking us to debunk a claim about poison drinks being handed out at robots. This one sounds pretty dangerous, actually. Yeah, so the message goes that criminals are targeting motorists at robot intersections in a place called Botrobello in the Free State. These criminals apparently pretend to be promoters when they're handing out the free drinks. And then what happens? Apparently the drink is so toxic that the driver drops dead straight away and then the criminal steals the car. Whoa, that's crazy. But I'm also guessing it's crap. Yeah, it turns out that way. We contacted the Automobile Association of South Africa about the message. This is Leighton Beard, spokesperson of the Automobile Association. And the incident that's been described to me is something that I haven't heard of before. We are not aware of that practice taking place, so I can't verify uh, or dispute the claim. And Free State Police spokesperson Tandi Mbambo told us that there had only been one incident of a man dying after allegedly drinking an energy drink, but it's still under investigation. So you can relax. This WhatsApp message is total crap. So we're basically doing a crime special this week. We feel overloaded with crime. What else have we got, Kate? This is a message being shared widely on Facebook, but we're giving you the facts now to prevent it going viral on WhatsApp. The message warns people not to use their windscreen wipers if a criminal throws eggs at their car and they break on your windscreen. Wait, so you shouldn't clean egg off. Why? So the message says that when eggs mix with water, it becomes milky, and it will block the driver's vision up to a very precise 92.5%. And let me guess, when the driver is blind, then they have to pull over, and then they get robbed. Yeah, you're getting the hang of this, Paul. (laughs) But the warning is fake and false. Do eggs even go milky when mixed with water? So there are actually a lot of videos on YouTube where people have tested this and they found that it's completely safe for you to use your windscreen wipers and water to clean broken eggs off your windscreen. So don't be fooled. If you get sent this warning on WhatsApp, it's total crap. Before we wind up, we have a quick reminder of a previous message we debunked. 
people are still sending us the fake warning, which says criminals are using crying children to lure unsuspecting victims. The police have confirmed that this warning was a hoax. So stop sharing it. That's all for this month's episode of What's Crap on WhatsApp. Forward this voice note out into the world to get rid of some of the crap out there. And tell your friends and family to add our number in their contact list, and send us a message on WhatsApp in order to sign up. The number is zero eight two seven zero nine three five two seven. That's zero eight two seven zero nine three five two seven. And if you enjoyed the show, please send us the poop emoji over WhatsApp so we know. <laughs> we are ready and waiting for you to send us all your crappy WhatsApp messages. Our theme song is supplied by John Bartman. Go to his website, johnbartman dot com, for music compositions and other audio. I'm Paul McNally from Volume. Goodbye. And I'm Kate Wilkinson from Africa Check. <laughs>